Princess Beatrice will have her royal wedding to Eduardo Mapli Mazzi next year, two years after her sister Princess Eugenie was married to Jack Brooksbank. Beatrice's wedding will likely face the same backlash her sisters did in 2018 for one heartbreaking reason. Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapli Mazzi delightedly announced their engagement last week, with the wedding due to take place in 2020. Theirs will be the fourth royal wedding in three years and is likely to take place in the famed St. George's Chapel of Windsor Castle. While most royal fans will have reacted to the news with enthusiasm, it may have left a bad taste in the mouth of others. When Princess Eugenie married Jack Brooks Spank in October 2018, she did so amid public controversy. Overall costs for Eugenie's wedding amounted to £2 million, footed by the taxpayer igniting fury among members of the general public. Some people rallied against it, creating a petition calling for the royal family to finance their own ceremony without taxpayer support. Petition organizers Republic claimed the wedding was a private affair, given Eugenie does not serve the public as a working royal. The organization asked the royal family to step forward and pay up for the ceremony, saying they stretched the public to breaking point. Talking The Independent in 2018, a Republic spokesman said, There's a strong feeling, even among monarchists, that we shouldn't be paying for Eugenie's big day. Most Brits opposed taxpayer funding of Prince Harry's wedding but as with all royal events were forced to accept it. But there's something different about, the, royal wedding, and people aren't happy. The monarchy is stretching its public support to breaking point. They added, there is still time for the royals to step forward and pay up. It's without question the right thing to do. Princess Beatrice's wedding is likely to be marred with the same controversy come 2020, although the royal family is yet to reveal whether they will foot the bill. How much was the most expensive royal wedding? Royal weddings in the past have been funded primarily by the royal purse, with smaller, but still expensive, assets falling to the taxpayer. The most expensive royal wedding in recent memory was Prince Charles' 1981 wedding to Princess Diana. Their nuptials cost roughly £89.3 million in total, with details such as a wedding gown adorned with 10,000 pearls and a glass carriage chauffeur to the wedding venue at St. Paul's Cathedral. While Diana and Charles started their marriage in pomp and splendor, it ended with heartbreak. According to royal biographer Penny Jr., the end of Charles and Diana's marriage was not the end of the war. She wrote, It was the end of 15 years of marriage, but it was not the end of the war. Diana was no happier outside the family she seemed to have hated so much than she was within it. She was still angry with Charles and determined to embarrass and upstage him at every opportunity. 